Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fableheim and Area Chronicle. We resume our journey near the very end. Today, we are going to challenge the five or six or whatever remaining elite bosses in the arena. And to do so, you can see that our dear Omnimancer has some new equipment. This one is for you, Kiravets. Because we will be fighting bosses who are largely single entities, we're going to bring on the Murder Mage. To do this, we are using the talent that we've tested before, Vehemence, which gives plus to magical attack but reduces resource efficiency by 100%. Things are going to be very expensive on Anthony. We also, of course, have his weapon, which upgrades the Condense. We've seen this. I don't really need to explain it. We have picked up the Volcanic Orb, which we got from, from defeating the Lava Worm, his token, which gives plus 16 fire attack, minus 30% mental control, and minus 30% resource efficiency. We have taken the robes from Doombringer Kadia, the Arch Wizard's Rope, which provides with 6 magical attack. We have re-equipped the Elemental Necklace, which gives 5 more fire attack, 10% accuracy, 5% crit, etc., etc. And we're using the newly acquired Zephyr of Jordan, for 100% increased concentration effectiveness and the condensed, which we are, our condensed plus, is a concentration effect. So, in short, Anthony is going to bomb some fools. That is the plan. It is worth mentioning the downside of this plan is that his spells are going to be incredibly expensive. And it doesn't necessarily support our plan of him buffing Yao in the writer, but, you know... Experimentation required. Also, fun fact, I got an achievement for equipping the Archwizard's Robe because apparently this is five or more legendary items. And Anthony has earned the prestige of wearing only legendary or better gear. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Hopefully, well, once we've acquired all the remaining tokens, we will buy their stuff and sell them for mad cash so that we will have as much gold as humanly possible, so that when we fight the last boss, we can use the writer's gold explosion to deal an obscene amount of damage, and hopefully, just hopefully, one-shot him. That's the goal. I want to meme on the last boss. Which, let's all be serious, that's the best way to end a series. But anyway, until we can do that, we have to finish obliterating our opponents. Now, I am, because we're taking this seriously, I will be using the Powders of Haste to uh, assist us. Remember, Anthony having both, well, <laughs> both the item effects from the cook and, okay, so how does this work? These are freaking expensive. All right, well, we can free action that, that's fine. The only reason Anthony is going faster... Oh, the potion of... Ooh, the powder of haste messed this up, doesn't it? Eh, whatever. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this, then? Well, it doesn't mess it up, because I can... Never mind, shut up. Ignore me. <laughs> so basically, we want to energy vacuum. We condense... We just, we basically need, okay, I think I figured it out, maybe. Are we greeting this or are we going all in? Screw it. I know my commentary has been very confusing thus far, but basically we need Anthony to have all the buffs that Yao would have minus, you know, get to the dragon and whatnot. In order to achieve this. I've been, I was trying to think of how the order in which we need to apply buffs using Anthony because the condense kind of messes things up. But now we apply energy back and we won't have fire weapon, uh, but I don't think that's too important. I mean, it's important, but it's not that important. Anyway, let's do this. Lol. I love seeing all those effects pop up. It makes me very happy. Um, I don't think we want to emulate yet. Actually, we'll do this. No fears. Fear not! 
for the creator of the game is with you. Cheese shall ensue. I could cripple. Do we cripple? Yeah. Oh, well. I tried. Bunny hop. Okay. I didn't read any of that because we're going to do this. Let's see. So we have the Dark Passenger, of course, from Kadia. Peace, that's irrelevant. The energy Vacuum to guarantee the crit. And Mana Torrent with the Jordans is plus 100% damage multiplier, plus 100% ultimate charge rate, and plus 6 magical attack. Don't miss. What? Uh, everyone saw that, right? <laughs> that was a lot of damage. It is worth noting that he is weak to fire. Uh, but that's still a lot of damage. Six, three seconds of fire, stigma, corrosion. Do I extend this? Let's see if we can apply fear to this. Ah, uh, no. Ow, that hurt. Hmm. We'll cancel when killing enemy or received healing. What if I do this? Well, okay. <laughs> uh, get wrecked? Bruh? Oh, I was hoping she would dodge it and then counter. I'm so close, too. Let's see what this does. Wow. All right. I'm happy to report that Murder Mage is online. Good job. Murder Mage was a success. I think that's a, a round of applause for everyone. We did it. We have turned Omni Mancer Anthony into a murdering machine with a safety belt. A belt to protect you from life threatening accidents. Plus 30 max HP, minus 500% crit rate, minus 100% crit power, 50% bleed resistance. Yeah, I have to pass on that one. That one doesn't seem. That doesn't seem good. And now we fight Faunus. Faunus is the boss that gets stronger as we buff ourselves. So who would like to take bets in how this is going to work? Now he does have a 25% resistance to fire. So it's probably a good idea to try and do our normal strategy. Probably. Probably. That would probably be a good idea. Ooh, good dodge. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna have Yao treat him with respect as well. He already has three stacks of enrage. What is this? Huh. Interesting. Are you sure you want to press? Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> like, are you sure that's the thing that you want me to have? Now, I could remove it, and I probably should. I think I'm going to bushfire first, though. <laughs> when the opportunity arises for me to be aggressive, I think we can all agree that I'm going to do it. Um, I'll hold the malediction until the end of his turn, so we'll just apply Dark Passenger to Anthony. Ba -ba -ba. Darn. Right, energy vacuum yourself. Our enrage proc. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll heal Yao. I don't want her to die. I probably need to remove his buffs sooner rather than later. But for now. Hmm. We'll go one more round. So I'll just remove all this crap. I guess we're entering the dragon now. Alright. 
Same thing as last time, except this time, the enemy doesn't have minus 25 uh, fire resist. It has 25 fire resist. So let's see how this does. Hmm, still 800. Not bad. What? Healed me. That was unusually kind. I'm a little confused. Let's see if we can fear him again. <laughs> hey, we did it! Good job, everyone. He also burnt his own enrage. Okay. Not being really, not being able to emulate is kind of weird, but I haven't had a, a good target, I don't feel like. I wonder... Hmm. Aw, damn. I'm gonna go ahead and try and restore some of Anthony's mana. I'm not sure how much will be restored, but you know. We'll give it the good old college try. I can also drop a Meteor in one turn. He is immune to Dark, so I'm going to Dark Weapon Yao. How turn many turns? Well, Dark Weapon Yao to allow uh, the Rider to steal this. Because again, not everything revolves around Anthony. We just want Anthony to deal damage. Both. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dark Passenger hit. <laughs> Whoops. Come back to life, Anthony. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can do this again. This is always a grand old time. Boop. Oh, wow, I can't believe that hit. He's blinded, too. Uh, I need one turn before I can do that. Alright. Let's roll this stun. I could have used an item. Maybe that was the call. Uh, but... How many turns do I have left? One. Hmm... I don't actually remember. Do I go... I don't die next turn, do I? I hope I don't. Thanks for healing me. Unfortunately... Well, I guess I can guarantee that I don't die next turn, right? I've never actually used one of these. I usually throw them away. Do I even have any? Or did I throw them all away? Uh, I think I tossed them all. The ginseng. Huh, that's awkward. Alright. This does the same thing. Basically, th this would guarantee that I don't die, even if I die. Isn't that cute? So if I take... Yeah. If I take fatal damage while this is active, then I die after its effect. But I did this so that I could do that. <laughs> So it doesn't matter how much I heal. But uh, we'll see if we can get Anthony to kill this. Um, smack. Uh, but I do need to heal the back by though. Actually, let's go full greed. We'll blind him and try and make it so he can't hit me. Could even do this. Okay. Okay. Did not roll well there. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I 
That's very not good. Okay. I need you to kill him now. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> good idea. Okay. Well, that kind of worked. <laughs> <laughs> would I? How would I do that? Ooh, a dagger. The, the Zodiac dagger. Attack power 8. What? 8 AP, 20% crit rate, minus 20... 80% crit power. It is unusual to see that much crit rate on something. Ruler of the arena. Also got a new ring. Let's go check it out. The ring is the ring of domination. Plus 12 attack power, 50 max HP, and 20% accuracy. I think that goes to... I think that goes over the belt. I do really like the belt. Its counter thing is really cool. But... You know. 12 AP is a lot of AP. A lot of AP. And this way, Yao won't miss. We've had it a few times where... Someone... Missed Yao. And then she countered. And Yao missed them. This will help prevent those situations from occurring. And 12 AP is good all the time. It's good if Yao misses. Or, excuse me, it's good if Yao's countering. It's good if Yao's just punching. It's good if Yao is ulting. It's just good. Oh, this is a battle I've been waiting for. The genie of the lamp. This rat bastard. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, what are your weaknesses? You're weak to light. Okay, good. I think I have a plan. I'm going to be a little conservative. Maybe. We'll find out. I think what we're going to do... Oh, that sucks. Um... We are going to go ahead and use an item every single turn. I know. What? Me using an item? Double fear proc. Get wrecked. Also thunderstorm. And by me, by using an item every turn, I mean with... Maybe I shouldn't be using Dark Passenger. Uh, with the writer. So, like, this turn, I'd be wondering, what could we do? What could we possibly do? And that's a great question. La Bomba? Oh, wait a minute. Can I... There's a thought. Can I charm... I don't think I can, actually. That's an interesting idea. I might purge this bleed. I'm wondering if I can charm off Dark Passenger so that Anthony doesn't die. And I don't think I can, but I think I can use the charm to purge. Am I missing a buff? Huh, I don't know. Let's find out. I think I can use a charm to purge the dragon within. Fatal fate. Let me read. Yao? I would appreciate it if you could do some dodging! When the buff's duration ends, HP minus 68 dark is dealt. Okay, so I get stronger for now and then I'm going to take 68 damage. That's fair.
I actually don't have anywhere near as many offensive items as I thought I did. Here's a bomb. <laughs> Le bomba. I have one turn of this left? Wow. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Dodge. Wow. She has 96% evasion. And she didn't dodge. I feel cheated. I don't know why, but I do. Here. This is how angry I feel. That was a short list. But fear brocked. Alright, time for our trademark combination. I said I was going to use an item every turn, and I didn't this turn, but that's fine because they're dead. I don't have energy vacuum. That's why this looked odd. Oh well. Wow, that sucked. So without... Oh, that hits everyone. Okay. So without energy vacuum, Meteor is way worth it. Way more worth it. Well, Ankh, Anthony, and then Creator's Fatigue or something. We're learning so much together, you and me. Well. It's time for Kiria to go on the offensive. Whoa. That's my move. <laughs> Hmm. I need various effects have been removed. What? Okay. This was not part of the plan. <laughs> How many turns do I have of this? Two? I can't use Malediction in this state, but I can murder some fools. Or try to, anyway. Here, have a bomb. <laughs> we did it! Did he just say you ain't been a friend like me? Yep, it feels good to kill someone off. Especially this one. The genie deserves it. Oh, and the planetary ring. What oh, can't I lose? Volcanic axe? Oh, I should go to town and sell some of these. Because, uh, it's not good to just dump, dump money off into the world. Alright. What's wrong? I need more cash. That's what's wrong. <laughs> Can you assist me with that at all? Am I going to sell everything? Also, this bow is super good. And Kidavet's putting out that this is really good with the Time Traveler. Uh, and I agree. I think this is a fantastic bow at the Time Traveler. I also think that I am indeed selling pretty much everything. Like, I was holding on to a lot of this for, um... Forges. Also, Kidavet's pointed out this would be really good for, like, a healer. So the aggro, they would not get aggroed. We... I mean, I don't... I agree. It is unfortunate that it doesn't give MP. The Archwizard's Rope really, is really good for Arya, considering she's kind of like an offensive healer. She's a pseudo-healer. Let's all be real. Arya is not a real healer. And if you've been watching for any period of time, you would know that that's true. <laughs> she's a DPS in a healer's glove. In healer's clothing. And it's perfect that way. She's perfect. 
I wouldn't change it at all. Definitely need to make more of these. I need more bombs, too. Where's the bombs? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Alright. Back to the arena. It's time to begin combating the members of the cults. It looks like we... Okay, so we have just the higher ones. We have Bale, Axum, and then Enyalius himself. Would we change anything for this fight? I don't remember this fight at all. This dude's a magic dude, right? Hmm. Hmm. We could... Okay, what if... Instead of using Dark Passenger... Which always feels like the beginning of the end for us. What if we... Dark Weapon. That sounds good to me. Can I remove that? Well, Yao is going. I remember this fight. Oh, I remember this fight now. This is a this is a scary fight. All right, we're gonna drop the bomb. We're gonna drop the bomb, and I'm gonna cry. Will this remove Arrhythmia? No. Also, why didn't I get another turn? I thought I was the writer. Uh, so basically, sorry if I didn't explain this at all. What's happening is that he applied a debuff to everyone called Arrhythmia. Uh, which is a real life condition, by the way. I actually had it. <laughs> And what it's going to do, in two turns, it's going to deal 119 damage to whoever it has been put on. Most of my characters don't have that much health. Actually, only Grandmaster Yao meets the conditions for that. The way to get rid of it, the only way, is to become electrocuted. Which you can become electrocuted by punching him. So, in short... We have to punch this boss to win this fight. Just attack. Or somehow avoid being electrocuted. Which is possible, by the way. Let's see this does. Not too bad. The way that we avoid becoming electrocuted... Um, well, one of the ways... Would involve Anthony... Totality Lightning Shields? Uh, you need to punch. So basically, if we can straight up avoid... Sorry, I'm looking for the thing. Brain, please. There we go. If we can straight up avoid getting Arrhythmia applied to us, then I don't need to become electrocuted. And that sounds good to me. I'm going to go ahead and borrow his buffs real quick. I don't think they're quite as good, but they're buffs to be had, you know? That nah, wasn't too bad. I'm also going to enter the dragon. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, 
I'm in danger. <laughs> Let's have some random stuff. The suit's actually pretty resilient to most things. Actually, I need to get um the thing on her. Nope, 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 nope. This was not what I meant to do. But hey. It's fine. I meant to meteor. That's what I was going to do. But here we are. In a world with no meteor. Oh, I was hoping this would work. Do you think this is going to work to my disadvantage now? That could happen. That would be an... And by that I mean... <laughs> because of the lightning shield, I can't actually become electrocuted. Please die. Thank you. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I, because of the lightning shield resisting electrocution, I can't become electrocuted to remove the arrhythmia. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, the relic armor. 20 HP, 6 max armor, 8 speed. For riot control. Hmm. It has very basic stats on it. Alright, next is Oxum. Also known as Colin. Hmm. Should I be suspicious of this? I don't remember this fight. So far, the only thing that's really been on display is my lack of memory. I remember it being easier than I was expecting. Uh, I think that's it. He is weak to darkness because he is a... That's rude. Permanent. Protects your allies in the buff duration and applies to recover from Mesmerize. Not removal when cancel when ally in coma. Well, I can do that. <laughs> you don't even know, Axum. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wait until the end of the turn before I apply my debuffs. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, he can only irresistible offer one person at a time. I'm pretty sure. Alright, we dark weapons, now we apply our random cascade of effects, hopefully. I'm not quite sure how you can dodge Necrosis, but that's fine. We will... We'll overlook that for now. Hmm, are there any items I want to use? I don't really want to bomb. It's kind of a waste of a bomb, because I'm about to bomb him in the face. Um, I guess I could stun him out of this turn, but then that'll... Alright, let's just be a little helpful here, shall we? Let's see what we can remove. Oh, of course. Did you remove my mana? Bastard. All right, should we, um... I think we should kill someone. Like, put someone in a coma. Because we have plenty of options as to who it should be. I wonder if...
if you like say I prana someone I guess emulating your abilities would be cool which makes it so that they can't die it's the same as the dragon blood we used earlier if I use that and then put someone in a coma quote unquote does that count I'm just gonna keep dropping meteors on his face I think that's the play <laughs> <laughs> you have one more turn of this, right? One action. Can I maledict again? Have some random crap. This has gone well. I'm a big fan of meteors, as it turns out. I mean, who isn't really? Besides dinosaurs. One of the good things, actually about Yao being the one that got uh, enticed. Concentrate for the duration of the buff when the buff ends applies Apocalypse. Can I do this? I'm pretty sure I can just kill him. Uh, with a Meteor. <laughs> He has a, an insane amount of stun resistance. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to kill him. Wow, he lived. Alright, goodbye. Let's go, Kadia. Doombringer Kadia! I, it stopped moving. It did stop moving, yes. Good job. An adamantine staff. What a waste. Alright. That leaves only one. Inialius himself. Oh, music. Here we go. The real battle begins. Where is it? Here it is. Are you ready? He is weak to lightning. There's actually a chance to stun Inyalius. I don't think I brought... Um... Pollute Plus. In fact, I'm fairly confident I did not bring Pollute Plus. I don't think I want a Dark Passenger. He has Dark Resistance. Alright, so we'll uh, apply a myriad of effects, or attempt to. The Trial of Madness. What are we looking at? Ow. Oh, that's what we're looking at. Render's character useless. When the buff's duration ends, targets AP1 will increase, targets all enemies, not removal, will cancel when kill enemy. I mean, Arya might be able to zip bibbity bobbity zap something. Um, he already has, he's already lost all of his uh, things. That's funny. Ooh, fear. Good. Uh, since Anthony is useless, it might be worth... Um, just ulting. 
with Yao. Oh, we lost the Trial of Madness. Good. Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. I have successfully created a plague that will destroy all life on Azeroth. And then he died like a bitch. Although, to be fair, Putricide was pretty tough uh, on progression. I say that, but I don't even know what button I pressed. <laughs> Mm, I could throw a bomb again. You want a potion? So I say that, but my uh, raid team at the time could sometimes struggle to tell the difference between orange. Am I metering or am I yowing? I guess we're yowing. Uh, between orange and green. Which, well, okay. <laughs> We're not yelling. Which is quite detrimental. In a fight where you had to kill a very specific ooze first. Look at Arya just carrying us from the back. I might throw a bomb at him. How many more do we have? Three? Ooh. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just smack him. Good stun. We've entered the dragon. Well, we did. We entered the dragon and then our Enter the Dragon was removed. I should try and make use of this mana torrent. Alright. Ooh, 400. Not bad. Summon a thunderstorm. I'm not going to be invoking uh, Disciple of Darkness anytime soon, I don't think. It's probably not going to be worth it. Um, he's not weak to light, which is kind of weird. But I'll condense. I could have um, lightning weapon, but I think what we're going to do is we're just going to drop meteors on his face. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> she lived at one. Okay, remember what I just said? No, it's still true. I was going to say, oh, of course. All right, remember what I said about dropping meteors on his face? Probably should used a greater healing potion, honestly, right there. Come on, AI. You have the mana torrent buff. Wow, that was a huge heal. Holy crap. So this applies to heal as well. Get wrecked, bro. Hi. Eh, I won't go all disciple-y. The only buff you have, Yao. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Please work. It worked. Should I borrow mana torrent? I mean, what else am I going to borrow, right? Oh, I should have tried... I should have tested to see if I could borrow um, the Demon Slayer. That would have been cool. One more turn for Enter the Dragon. Is there anyone that has a better ult than me? Not really. This crit. Wow. A mad Anthony killed the last boss. Good job, Anthony. Good job. Round of applause, everyone. We've won. Ooh. 
The Pendant of Dark Magic. Five Dark Attack, eight Effect Chance. That would be really good for Kodia. Look at this. So beautiful. Only two remain. Only two remain. The mainframe Omega. And the secret boss. I've done a really good job keeping my mouth shut about what the secret boss is. Because <laughs> let me tell you, it has not been easy. I just want to shout to the world, you know? But I'll... I'll have a lot to say when we get to her, so don't worry. Okay. We now have... All the tokens. I don't have another writer token. And what we're going to do is very simple. Basically, they all sell for the same... Like, it doesn't matter which item we pick up, because they all sell for however much their token is worth. So, for example, the token of Inyalius is worth 50k, no matter which item you pick up, so on and so forth. So I'm literally just going to go down the list, and we're going to buy everything that we can down the list. Now this doesn't, this does not include character items, the specifics for, you know, like this, the class items. Uh, because we have a lot of those. And I'm, but I'm pretty sure they also all sell for the same. And we can take this moment together, you and me, to think if we need any more. We have the monk, we have... Uh, the Druids, the Laden Reactor. Why? Mage and Warlock. That's five. That's everyone. We have everyone's. I think I wanted this at one point in time, but I don't remember why. I mean, it's pretty good. We'll see if it's... If it's worth. I have three of those. Oh, the writer, the writer, that's right. We have the writer as well, the writer's box. Okay, so now we only have. Maybe just. You want everything, right? Why not? Okay, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Time to go vendoring, right? So, our goal here with why we're vendoring everything. This still doesn't tell me what it does, huh? The only difference I can see between the text here is that unally is orange. In, um... This is the upgraded text. I don't know. I don't know if this is good either, this one that makes it just like a passive effect. I guess it's good if you are using multiple ones, right? If you're using multiple ones, that thing is sick. I'm gonna sell so much junk. It actually, it's kind of hurting me. It's hurting my soul to sell all this stuff. Deep down it hurts. Oh. Think I can vendor this back to her? No, I can't. <laughs> that would be funny though, wouldn't it? It's like, yeah, I know you uh, made a lot of effort to make this for me, but um, here you go. Buy it back. Ugh. Of the demonic sword gone. I like seeing all this, all the zodiac stuff. Okay, back to the black market. Uh, this is the paladin stuff. Ranger, dancer. I think the dancer one's awesome. The dancer one just turns her into a downright freaking murder machine. We haven't actually used a whole lot of the dancer. This is also amazing. I think the priest one is almost mandatory. Um, I still have no idea what the warrior one does. And this one... This one's pretty good. I can get more of these. Alright. 
It's time to make more money. Let's see how much of this I can sell. As a hoarder, I don't like this, by the way. As a hoarder, it hurts. Uh. Oh. Is this any good? Me. Oof. Oof. Can I sell this? I can. Alright, if you're gonna go in, you gotta go in. Uh, I want to hold those beads, though. So... <laughs> Ooh. At any point, I'm pretty sure we can buy stuff back. But, uh, it hurts to sell this stuff. It really does. I just sold 10 greater health potions. That was kind of dumb. I'm trying to get rid of excess stuff here. For Le Mans. I don't need that. I actually used the dragon blood for one, so that was cool. Uh, I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I'm probably going to hold on to a lot of consumables. Um, I'm getting used to using them, so... That's a thing. All of these I can kind of see having a use for. So we'll hold on to the rest of this. Materials. Materials, not so much, honestly. Like, unless there's something we can craft. Let's see. I don't think so. But unless there's something we can craft, uh, I think the materials are going. Gone. Oh, we can make a belt. Crimson ring. One of these. I can make two of these. We can make a ring. Alright. Here we go. Wow. I can't get over how good this freaking bow is. Like, it's just good. <laughs> it's just so good. Don't I have someone wearing stuff? Yeah, I can't sell the scepter. I can't sell your stuff. I can sell this, though. <laughs> I'll keep the ring, too. The ring is an important thing. I, I'll give Miru the Celestial Bow. Actually, I won't. I give it to the other person. The other individual. Uh, I can remove all, right? Yeah. Okay. Garam. Garam can have the bow. Because Miru can be sacked. Goodbye. This is just some like last minute preparations for next time. I mean, at this point, at this point, we're pretty much done, right? I think we're riding this all the way to victory, team. There's no more shenanigans. Although I do kind of want to keep a few of these characters. What does Layman give you now? Ah, that. Okay, then I don't want this. I'm, I'm glad that they added something to it, though. It used to just be literally nothing. Like, you were okay at this, blah, 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 blah. I want Arya to be a rank 10. I think she's gonna be. Da 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 da
the real beginning? What? <laughs> what about this is the real beginning? Clouds. Ludmila. Ludmila. Actually, Rash going over Delicate is probably really good. The crit power is helping out my damage, but this will help my survivability. Which I think is more more important in the late game. R Grandmaster Yao, rank 10. I probably should have done all this before. <laughs> oh well, I'll keep Priscilla. Priscilla can stick around as my love for priests. Cloud can go, though. Bruiser, you have thick neck. That's probably Bruiser's probably better. <laughs> yeah, let's take Bruiser. I kind of want exhibitionist for a hit rate, but it's fine. All right, we've seen max level. We have a few more things to sell. We're almost at one billion gold. <laughs> can't sell these. The Holy Sword Ascalon, that would be something to sell, wouldn't it? We're at 900. Oh, I might actually get there. Is this the Ring of Trials? Are so close. I can't believe how close we are. I probably can't get there even if I sold stuff from Priscilla, right? Well, you know what I said earlier, right? If you're gonna go in, you go all the way in. We can always get more stuff. The consumables aren't really worth much. There's not really a point in sitting here selling these. I know this has been really boring, but... <laughs> this has been fun. It's really fun as a hoarder to just dump everything. Look at it. All right, let's take one final look at the Genie's Rosary. It gives 30 max MP, 40% ult charge rate, 4 magical attack, 20% item found. Is that something we want on anyone? It's probably better than the, man the Amulet of Mana. Is it better than the Cult Pin? Hmm. No, because we need the effect champs. Same thing here. Alright, I think it's a better amulet of mana. And now we have even more ultimate charge rate. <laughs> <laughs> One billion dollars! <laughs> We're almost there. Not quite. Close, but no cigar, eh? Close only counts. In nuclear in horseshoes and nuclear explosions. Alright. My friends. Thank you for sticking around. We have but one more thing to do. We have reached the end of our long road. Next time we deactivate mainframe Omega. We try to meme on it. Harder than we've ever memed on anything else in this game before. With the gold explosion of the writer in an attempt to one-shot the beast. I'm not even going to buff the writer. It's going to be turn one, gold explosion. See what it does. Actually, I probably should energy vacuum him, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's the thing I should do. Yep, we'll energy vacuum. <laughs> we will make Anthony go first. We've done this before, so it's not that big of a deal. But we will energy vacuum the writer. So let's change this so I don't forget, because I will. Oh, that's awkward, isn't it? I deleted everything. <laughs> uh, so we'll just unequip this. And equip whatever we replace it with. Which I guess is this. Which is fine, because I can't have the Jordans equipped. Okay. The Jordans are very good for 
are writer, but they aren't terrible either, because accuracy is always strong. Okay, so next time, we're going to see if we can meme on the game by guaranteeing a crit with gold explosion that is worth 484,000. Okay, so it's not a billion, we're close to a million. <laughs> but if, if we can crit on, uh, blah, 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 meme on him with a crit of gold explosion using 484,528 gold. I hope that you're looking forward to it. And then, once we have defeated the main from Omega, I'm sure we'll get some lovely mushy story. And that's going to be great. Then we can defeat the mainframe Omega in the arena. And I bet that will unlock the final, the true real boss. All of that next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with me for this whole wonderful journey. And I hope that you look forward to its epic conclusion. Bye-bye!